Hey guys, welcome back to Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor and in this video, I am going to tell you about multi-step forms in Elementor. I will discuss how you can create these kind of step forms and these forms allow you to keep your form fields segregated into multiple steps. This allows your users to see only a limited fields on the form and once those fields are submitted the user gets to see another fields that are you know grouped into another step of the multi-step form so this allows your users to easily submit long forms not only that you get more sales more conversions using these kind of personalized and interactive multi-step forms so let's get in and see how you can create these forms in element or page builder i am not going to take records to another third party plugins except element or page builder there are many ways you can create these kind of forms you can use formidable you can use fluent forms you can use mat form there are many plugins that allow you to get that functionality but why to use or why to take recourse to some other stuff and you know make your site bulky if you can get all the stuff and all the requirements fulfilled into this element or page builder itself I will be using only Elementor and I make content for Elementor. You might have seen many videos of mine in the past that I have used in Dynamic U very heavily. And so I will be using only a few fields probably of Dynamic. But if you don't, you can also use Elementor alone and get that functionality ready for you. So without wasting a lot of time, let's quickly see how we create it. So I will go to my page. I will add a new page by clicking on this button over here and this Gutenberg page opens up here. I will add the name of the page multiple steps form or multi step form simply. Now I will publish it. Now I will edit this page with Elementor and the Elementor editor interface will load and open in a few seconds. <clears throat> now I will add Elementor form widget over here. Just drag and drop on the canvas. To this functionality to work, you will need Elementor Pro. If you don't have a license, you can check out the link in the description and get a new license of Elementor. It is a, a very very useful plugin and gives you tons of functionalities that you can implement on your WordPress website. So after importing or dragging the form widget, you can you know do some styling as well of the container itself. So let me give it a background color and separate it from the background this way. I will give it a bit of bit of width as well. Uh, I will reduce its width so it looks like this. I can also increase its height so I will increase the minimum height and make it probably around 550 pixels. I can also justify this form to the middle by using justify content property in the uh, in the flex container. <clears throat> if you don't know how you can you know use these uh, functionalities or use these options in the container you can check my separate video that i have created only for those who are looking to you know know about containers so you can check out my video about flex containers i will also you know add it to the card as well <coughs> coming back let us you know add some fields there's a field called step underneath here and once you opt to use this type of field you will see that your form has turned into a multi-step form and now you have uh, some other options enabled like step settings where you can set whether you want to use number or text number plus text text just icon or number or whatever you want i just like this progress bar thing because it makes or gives me a better you know ui 
but you can also go with other options i also like this it's uh, icon option as well okay you can also use icon plus text like this and or you can also use number plus text you will have to you know add your text in your field okay in the step you will have to you know label it uh, something like basic information okay so this was the second one so when you add a step the first one is already you know added over here basic information you can say and here you can say billing information so now you are getting uh, information from a user separated in two forms or in multi-step form where in the first step you are retrieving information about the user some basic information regarding their name email and their message or probably you can use address instead or maybe some other fields that are very basic very basic to the user and then you can in the next step retrieve information about the billing and shipping if you have any e-commerce website and that is you know uh, easily can be done using this multi-step form now if you want to retrieve information from your first step to the another step let me show you how you can do that i will add a new field and from this drop, drop down over here i will choose to go with uh live html field okay and hi name kindly submit the billing information okay now i can you know keep it above the billing or i can move it over here like this let me publish it because the page is not reacting pretty well now you can see uh, underneath my billing step i have one field of uh, live html and i will add another field and i will say text and i will give it a label of address okay now if i publish it and preview it on the next tab let me see it location and i can also remove this field of email from here okay now if i name it and click on next now you can say hi Lokesh kindly submit the billing information and it says address so whatever information you you know submit in your Lokesh can be retrieved in next step is using live html field you will have to consider using the right you know syntax for that as well like i used form name you can check out the check out the you know documentation of dynamic Oop for this purpose if you have any issue using you know html in your field so this is how you can create these kind of uh, you know uh, multi-step forms and they can be you know uh, very very friendly and give you some better uh, submit rates because uh, sometimes people avoid to fulfill or submit the long forms so if your form is long you can consider using a multi-step form convert them into a multi-step and can get better results overall so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions you can you know reach me out on my social media or you can also comment down below and i will try my best to respond to you uh, pretty fast so thanks for watching and consider subscribe see you in the next video thank you so much for watching